after the Champions League final on Saturday, he kind of cast a shadow of a doubt as to whether he would be staying at Real Madrid and wouldn't confirm his continuity with the project. He's trying to clear up those quotes, and we'll see if he did. Let's take a look at the latest out of the CR7 camp, who also wants to name, rename the Champions League after himself. It says, obviously I have something to say, but it wasn't the right time, although I don't regret it because I was honest. I've kept putting up with this, but then I couldn't control myself. This has been coming for a long time. Money is not the problem. Gab, I'm coming to you on this one. Uh, money is not the problem. So what in the world is for this guy? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we've been here before. He, he said he wanted to feel loved. He wanted to feel more, more respected. Um, I think he also said he's going to He's going to make an announcement on, on June 4th when he meets up with Portugal. Maybe he'll tell us. The fact that he spoke in the past tense suggests that maybe he's leaving. If money's not the problem uh, and he's willing to take a pay cut from the uh, $50 million roughly that he makes a year and will make for the next three seasons, there's plenty of places that will take him. Uh, if the issue is money and that you know he feels that Neymar and, and Messi... Uh, who both of whom make substantially more than he does, and he feels that he should be getting another raise, um, then obviously then that's a whole different issue. I, I don't know. I, I talked about this in, in my column today. I, I, unless it's some sort of Zidane-related issue, um, or he's foreshadowing some move to China, or dare I say Major League Soccer, where they... Uh, go to the point where they, they, they promise him a franchise and a big chunk of the league's revenue and, you know, the keys to the keys to Don Garber's Ferrari. I don't know. I, I really don't know what is up with him. I, I don't know why he needs to make these announcements um, at these times. I don't know about you guys. This seems like, to me, the ultimate pettiness of an egomaniac. Am I being too hard? <laughs> no, not at all. No, it's, it's getting old, isn't it? It's getting old. And, and previously, you have to listen to it because of what he was doing on the field of play. Uh, the stats will tell you that he's still doing it. But the truth is, he's slowing up big time. Uh, and so it just doesn't carry the same weight for me as it had previously. And you have to wonder, does the owner or does Perez realise that Ronaldo's on the wane? And does Ronaldo realise not only... He's on the wane, but he's got three-year nest to sit on if he wants. So it, it just doesn't carry the same weight for me anymore. Of all the things that Ronaldo said in his quote, the latest one, the only thing that really carries any sort of importance for me is the fact that it was not the right time. It wasn't the, it, it, the moment in which he started talking about his future in Real Madrid was just seconds, seconds after winning a title with Real Madrid. So the celebration should be with the teammates. The moment should be celebrated by the fans, with the fans, and with the teammates. This is a team accomplishment. The moment you bring this up, he knows, we know, the fans know, everybody knows that then the storyline becomes Real Madrid won. However, what's going to happen with Cristiano Ronaldo? And that, whether he meant to do it or not, and I think we can all agree that it feels like he meant to do it, and that it was in his way, his statement of saying, I'm still the guy that should carry the headlines here. It is not only unacceptable on his part, but it's something that people should hold him accountable for. It is- Who, who can hold him accountable? Well, but I, I, who can hold him accountable? At some point, the people that love Ronaldo can also take a, an objective look at what this this was, and this was an attention-getting moment. Yeah. Rather than, this is all about Real Madrid. This is about what we have accomplished. Now I'm going to make it about myself. And for those who do not like Cristiano Ronaldo, this is blood Ammo. in the water. Ammo. This is because it, because it feeds into the rhetoric. It feeds into the storyline of what we think Cristiano is like. But when he does things like this, is it becomes a certainty. He's just doubled up on it as yeah. well. Yeah. Because we've got Gab telling us now, he said he's going to make another statement in, in June or something. So he's, he, he hasn't learned. You know, he's, he's coming out as if to say, well, I shouldn't have said it then. And then he doubles up by, by making another statement that 
He but thinks everybody's going to be hanging on to every word he has to say. Coming up. Go ahead, Gab. St no, I was going to say, what I find most frustrating here is he says, well, I'm being honest and whatever. I, the, the worst thing that can happen to Real Madrid, if you care about Real Madrid, and, you know, and, he, and he's put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into Real Madrid, if you've got something to say, come out and say it and be clear about what it is. All right, you've said it's not about money. What is it about? Is it about your position on the pitch? Is it about respect? What is it that you don't like? Ideally, in the normal world, in the grown-up world, you would send George Mendes or you sit down yourself and, and you would speak to, to Zidane or Florentino or, or whoever you would speak to. Now, maybe they've done that and we don't know about it and, and, he's, and he feels the need to go public. But if you're going to go public, go public all the way. If the problem is not money and it's not that you want to raise because you think that you should be making as much money in his name out of Messi, then come out and say what the problem is. Because I'll tell you what, if you don't go out and you don't make it clear, then people will speculate and they will speculate and they will come to bad conclusions about you like two guys in the studio just did. And they're going to assume that this is some kind of mystery babying and it's not going to help you and it's not going to help Real Madrid. Guys, Cristiano Ronaldo knows he's 33. He knows he didn't score in the Champions League final. And he also knows that Gareth Bale scored a golazo in the Champions mm -hmm. League final. Is there a hint of, of jealousy here, you think? <laughs> I, I'm going to say no, because I seriously don't think he's jealous of anybody. Even I somebody just, stealing his no, moment in a I, Champions League final? Not really. You know, to him, it's just, well, for once it wasn't me, but you know what? I'm Ronaldo. So I, I don't think he's jealous. I just think every single opportunity that he has to promote himself and make it about him, he does it. He takes advantage of it. Yeah, I don't think it's jealousy that Gareth Bale scored the goal, but certainly Ronaldo would have loved to have, would have, loved to have been the one scoring the bicycle kick, right? So let's not, let's not kid ourselves. Cristiano Ronaldo likes himself, and that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not criticizing Cristiano Ronaldo for liking himself because that's... That's part of what makes him who he is as a player and what he has been and how, how spectacular of a talent he has been for so many years. The pro my problem is when you take it a step further. My problem is when now you certainly just make it about yourself and undermining the importance of the achievement of the team. And in the end, this is a team sport.